I guess, I guess you go. I guess I'm going. In that case, I guess hey, so I'll see y'all later. Thank oh, you, though. Yeah. Where, where can people follow you? No problem. You can follow me uh, on Twitch. I just posted in chat at MRShastin. Uh, I'm also on Twitter at MRShastin. Right. Yeah, you can follow me there. And then I'll see y'all later. Arm is taking over, so I'm going. All right. All right. Well. We're, we're already really hot into it, so let's just go ahead and see how things are going. Because I just look for a second, Ellen has Raza on the ropes. Yeah, dude, doesn't matter. Patch 2.0. Luigi's don't care. Dude, don't remember. Dude, Conk on an hour in already found another zero. <laughs> Charlie on Twitter. Yeah. He hates the living heck out of this character, but he already found like 6 0 to death, so I'll, I'll have the order training room combo, but we shall see what happens. Yeah, oh, Raza gets a clean down air and puts Elegant off the stage, but that still makes that recovery. All right. Okay, so yeah, that's one thing that changed as well. Down thumb cycle is a lot more consistent. Yeah, that's what I noticed too. That's, that's one of the moves that like got got changed, and I was surprised that they decided to be like, oh yeah, yeah, let's, let's give this back. You know, yeah. we totally didn't get rid of this in Smash Four because it was pretty. It was, I want to say brain dead, but it was pr it was really good for what, how easy it was to execute. Razo still able to make the recovery there. He has elegant on the ropes here with the percent and, and oh, uh, uh, that's. Okay, yeah, he got him, he got him, he got him. I like that he still didn't give up the turnips because he knew, like, hey, I really don't want Elegant to come back on the stage. Okay. Gets a grab, down throw, nice. Razo just holding onto the shield, not gonna get hit by that full. I don't even know if the zero to death combo is still available now. No, no, it still works. It's yeah, is, there, is it like still the same? I think it's still the same percent, right? It's, um, instead of doing down air, nair, down air, down air, up B, mm -hmm. it's down air, nair, down air, Falling up air, then chase up B. Or you oh, do, gotcha, gotcha. Or you do down air, then sour soft back air. I feel like it's more of the, oh, good counter there for Raza. Like, we'll stop Elegant with the recovery here. Trying to go off the stage to get Elegant, but... Good patience here. Doesn't really have to give away too much. Honestly, just have to stay where he's at. If I remember correctly, I think Elegant... Oh, the last there it part. is. Yeah. Turnips, so much better in this matchup. Gimping Elegant, actually. We just, in general, it's just a lot harder. Yeah. You can't air dodge through things anymore. It doesn't have the cyclone recovery, so it just kind of has to let it turn us off. If Elegant side gets into it, he loses that. He double jumps like it was first stock. Yeah. There's another recovery option. He's just kind of dead. But that's not going to stop Elegant. It has nope. to before him. Like you said, man, not going to stop. He's going to power through Razo and just able to get that cyclone yeah. kill. Elegant said on Twitter, your French mindset. So, <sighs> yeah, sorry guys for the weird lull in my. My activity is like my performance. I'm back now. It doesn't really matter what happens now. Yeah. I'm here to play. There we go. And I, I am here to just destroy everything. Yeah. Honestly, pretty, make, pretty much making a statement at this week's MSM. And so far, one thing that all oh, gets caught by the grab there. Elegant not going to get too much of a follow-up. Raza still able to escape that. Back to the ledge. All right. So Raza not going to get caught by the down. Oh, he caught that so, man slipping. And there's the purpose. Does he have his double jump? No. no. He's not, so. That will take, Razo will take game one despite Elegant's strong start. To yeah. It, for Razo, it comes down to the patience, but also understanding like, hey, when Elegant's off the stage, I want to make sure that the op I can snipe Elegant's options. Like, we know Elegant loves to go for that side B off stage, right, to push himself, not even wasting the jump. And, like, it's hard for Luigi to recover high as well because Peach has the float, he has the pair. If he gets slapped off stage right there, that's really bad. Yeah, it, it really is. So, one thing I like to note, the fact that Raza understands, like, hey, I'm just going to play it safe, hold on to the stage. I don't want to give away too much of the stage for Elegant to come back, possibly find a grab, and just go for those turnips. Peach and Daisy don't really have a need to go up and let Luigi because they can try to throw turnips out on Luigi. It's up to Luigi to avoid those turnips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because his recovery became a lot more linear with the loss of Tornado. Okay, nice. Razzle gets the grab here and the punish. 41% for Razzle, man. Really start. Okay. <laughs> Spacing out these back airs. Yeah, each of these is the full cap. I feel like that a lot better. Than so they just kind of throw it back out. Or you can air to it and just space the punish. Nice. Yeah, if you approach me, you're going to get hit. One thing I like is Razzle's got really good with the Psyches, with the Daisies and the Peach Bomb of Snipes. Like, look at that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I want to say, like, that wasn't even a Snipe, that was a yeah, that complete was obliteration. Even... I don't know if it's because it got buffed, or maybe it's just got a lot more confident. Well, the thing about, okay, the thing that Raza told me about Peach and Daisy is that she doesn't have a vi an audio cue when she goes to the side beat. Yeah. She, no. should, she doesn't say yeah, it at all. Yeah, the Daisy just goes, ha. Yeah. Because the Peach is, ha cha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, you can't really hear it from Daisy. It's not like a big deal, but when it comes down to situations where you're used to audio cues. Oh, that's yeah, a yeah, double jab on the field. Mm -hmm. 
elegant. He's gonna do what he's best, just calling out people with up ease. This is a really bad position because he's almost down 100%. And as we've seen before, Razo is just really good at just running the turn and stopping too. Yeah. Elegant's mm -hmm. a tough time to cover. And good, good job for Razo not really approaching there because he knows he doesn't want to get grabbed this early percent. All he has to do is float, wait for uh, wait for Elegant to come up to him, probably find a punish afterwards. Look at that C guy. There's a punish that he doesn't really have to be on the ground. Yep. Comes up with more turn up snipe. Oh, not really able time. to snipe though, but I still like the fact that he understands like, hey, he might go for the side. He's able to get the shield and the counter. Yeah, there he goes. He's a toad counter. New Elegant was going to jump on the fireball, so he's like, not this time. He's going to get the dare spike, but unfortunately, Bowser's like too low for percent to do anything with it. And right now, it looks like he's actually having trouble comboing Bowser. Which is really weird. Oh, down smash. Oh, that shield was looking mighty small. Yeah, Bowser had to do something. Actually, his shield's going to get popped, and he probably would have died to like an up here or something. Yeah. I definitely want to see. Um Elegant start getting the punish, punishes on Razo when he gets some of the landings there. That's one thing I haven't really been seeing Elegant get is a punish for Razo's landings, but so far he's doing a pretty good, good job trying to bring it back. It's a side view. Razo able to drift a little bit behind and make sure he comes back on the stage. Yeah, I think it's, yeah there he is again. Countering the fireball. Nice. Oh, I, like, I like the Z drop with the misfire. That was super crucial. Grab the down throw and Razo escapes the tornado. Looks like Elegant held back a little bit waiting for an air dodge. He didn't see one, so he let it rip, but Razo at that exact moment he said, hey, let's air it out to now. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Whiff, kind of whiff, kind he of could have whiff punish, man. Oh. Now Razo has a solid lead, almost about 40% behind, but has the stock lead. And Rage isn't as strong in one game, but it is still a factor. But this Cyclone will take that stock right there. I'm actually surprised that caught. Like, I'm really surprised that caught. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, Razo taking his time. He knows it's 0%. Elegant finds that grab there. He can change things around. So Elegant goes for the hits. Razo escapes that percent. It's the neutral air setting himself up for the edge guard yet again. Uh, solid counter option, but I don't think Elegant was going to hit by it yet again. Yep. Elegant realized, yeah, after the second first fireball, Razo's going to have to choke down. Right? Yeah. Caught me both times this time. Not, not anymore. That's and I believe because he has rage and with how light the is on, I don't think the Zero Death works. Yeah. At Zero. The one thing I do like that Razo has really been countering the fireballs because the Mario Brothers love, the plumbers really love to go for the fireball follow-ups. And Razo is really, an, oh, that was so close to avoiding the grab there. And I think he went for the up tilt because he might have since Elegant might have come after him. Oh, good. Good spacing there because he went he drifts back and then goes for the immediate punish. He's kind of been punishing Elegant for going for these grabs. Yeah. Elegant, and like he, he rushes in with the grabs there, but Razo understands like, hey, if I'm spaced out at a perfect distance, as we saw, able to move around it. I get the punish there, and especially at the ledge. That was not where Elegant wanted to be. Yeah, especially with how slow the tether grab was. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> All right, well, we'll see what goes down differently for Elegant. Elegant kind of taking a little bit of uh, breath of relief, though. Razo, who, oh, do or die for Elegant. We'll see what things, how things can change. Like I said, one thing I want to see Elegant do is kind of play a little bit more patient and get the punishes. Like, he tried to open up after drop his shield, go for a punish there, but unfortunately he wasn't able to get it. But this is pretty big for him here. 31%, just, I'm sorry, 42%, and starting off the great lead yet again. But Razo trying to turn things around. Oh, that would have been crucial. If, if Razo actually would have oh, fallen into it, that, that could have hurt. That extended for so long. That was a smart idea from Razo. He threw the turn down to try to hit Elegant, but Elegant throwing out a pair to just stop the turn. Call out Razo for throwing out the aggressive pair of the Cyclone, throwing on stage. This is not Elegant's chance to get it. And he's an easy bomber and can kill him with the back air. That move is still as strong as ever. Yeah. Back on the lift. Nice core throw. He needs to find a way to get back on without dying to those turn ups. Oh, oh. Situation takes the stage itself, but it goes right back. Air. back air. Razo That's wants nice. to stock though. A little yeah. commitment here oh. with the turnups. Oh, the misfire that actually. Killed oh it. no! The misfire actually killed him. No, and it's not only that. It's the fact that Pokemon Stadium actually has a pillar in the middle of the stage. So if he tried to go to the other side of the stage, he wasn't able to make it. I don't think he'll even be able to make it. Honestly, even if he was like under got a straight misfire with the pillar not in there. Yeah, it, it, it's pillar. way too far, dude. It's, that that stage is a little bit long. Can't bring this back. He showed in the beginning, the beginning of the first match, and right now, actually, he does know how to fight the Daisy. Daisy yeah, Peach, and he can't take the game. Razo has been showing patience there, but he still gets hit. Oh, oh no, the, the air dodge. 
I feel like he might—he definitely missed input there because he got dash tag. Yeah, is that right? he buffered it way too early. Yeah, he did. See, the thing is, the issue with the buff is if you hit an input and you're holding an analog direction and you're like in any direction besides move, it just stores that buffer. Yeah. So if you hit air, if you hit shield or spot dodge while off stage and you get hit off while holding down still, you dead buffer and air dodge. Yeah. Of course, you can hold the same direction. Good tomahawk up there for Razo. All right, gets the up air. Tomahawk just trying to keep it up. I'm sorry, Razo just trying to keep it up there, but he gets caught by the Cyclone. This is Elegant's game to take. He wants the momentum here, but good parry. Razo just going to try to get like it. Edge guard situation here. Back throw. Starts off with more turnips. Snipes a low commitment here. He's able to snipe oh, him through. Okay. And the recovery. Oh, that's okay. Elegant hang on to the ledge too much, and now he's dead. Yeah, he's gone. He's yeah. gone. That's, that's he held, the, held on to like a little bit too long. Got thrown back off stage again, and then Razo just started throwing turnips down. Mm -hmm. Because he lost touch of his ability. Alright, so 100% lead. Elegant with the Ah, good spacing. Yep. And down there, Cyclone. Oh, nope, Razo not gonna. Too low. <laughs> I like how he goes for the percent. It's not like a big combo or anything, but just the, every percent for this point matters, especially with Razo trying to make a comeback in stock and just try to walk away with a 3 0. I really like that on the save because Luigi has, he has like okay air drift, I guess. Mm -hmm. And he's not really that fast either, so because he was above Razo, he didn't have the safe option. Like, I have a cross up here. You can't really punish me for. <gasps> from above. Okay. Razo kind of keeping it safe. The comeback is in his hands here, but the backer from Elegant puts the edge guard face for him. Razo barely able to land. Nice. Gets, o gets over the fireball, goes for the forward air. There's a down smash. Oh, I, the, oh, okay. The soft hit from it, too. That was like the weak hit. It was able to just barely clip him over. Oh, the down oh, smash because oh, Elegant lands and he gets the punish. Good job, Elegant. Razo's doing a good job bringing that game back. There's the down to 100% and brought it here close to taking the game again. But Elegant is going to wish punish that back here with the down smash to seal the game out. So now yeah. it's 2 1. Will we see the reverse 3 0? Or Razo clutch it on this next game? Elegant's I mean, he has to, right? Elegant yeah. just won that one game, that one situation for there. And it all came down to the fact that Razo lost the stock for putting a little too early. Yeah. It it's literally was the, the decider there. If Razo did not lose that stock, I think we would have had a much different game last game. And he has to fish in here because we all know that winner's side Elliot is the scariest out of the game. It is. It then is. he's feeling himself. He has the confidence. He has games to back himself. He will go for something like the most wonky plays that work. If no one he's going to go for, it. yeah, you're right. He's not going to go for anything optimal. He's just going to go for whatever is going to work at the moment there. And then that's so big for him. Yeah. He has six games to work with. Yeah, he has six games. He's like, I'm just going to go off on a tear. Especially with the three stocks, he has he has a little bit more room to breathe than with uh, Luigi's kill power. Even yeah. If he's behind, oh, hands down. That big of an issue. I mean, this is a hard matchup because Davies is a really good character at walling out Luigi and the boxes, but it doesn't still stop him from dying really early to any like hard feeds or pockets. Yeah, and this is big for Razo too because if he goes into Grand's winner side, Razo has been getting second place at WNF quite a lot, dude. This is his opportunity to finally get first place at WNF, especially because I'm here, not here. Oh yeah, normally I'm just one that beats a hog. Yeah. And a lot of the other top players are really here today, which is kind of weird. Because it was like, I'm Pip, Raza, Elegant, Hong Kong. I know sometimes AC shows up. Yeah. But no, AC was here last week. Yeah, so, but like, none of them are really here today, so. Alright, we have some stuff going on in the background. I have crowd popping off in the background. Yeah. Well, right, we'll see what things can pop off for Elegant. He gets the tornado! There is the consistent thing talk about. It. He finally caught Raza at a high percent where it actually confirmed the easy. Yeah. Yo, I have no idea what is going on. I apologize, guys. According, but, uh, to, according to Card, you know, he says, the Tekken crowd always pop off. Okay. It's really hard about everything. Speaking of the double, he just went running over there. But back to that. Elegant took that first stock with the down throw cycle, but Razo did a good job. We'll still back up. Even the stock's 2 2, but Elegant firing back immediately with a solid 42%. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, Great combo for Razo, and he goes for the snipe. Goes for the side B. Fire oh, okay. okay. Yo, was, man, you got to over Oh. Oh my god, I was like, if one of them dies here, that would be so hard. I felt that Razo took the hit there from the side B from Elegant because he wanted to he get wanted to out. Yeah, yeah, he wanted to get him off guard. He wanted to style him for like, okay, you want to go for the side B? Fine, I, I got you. All right, oh, that's oh, it, that's yeah. it, that's it, that's it. And it sends him at the bad angle, dude. But Razo's homies are in the background, man. They're popping off. Talk about the Tekken crowd popping off. Razo's friends are here, and they're definitely here to watch him win. I was first place. Elegant has a lot of things to say about that. that. Yeah, that's on the same side B. Elegant's catching up because now he is able to shield that side B there and able to immediately go for a punish. Small adaptations get the grab. Down throw. Is it a cyclone? And yeah, he's able to find it there. Jam. There it is. Yep. 
What did I tell you? Down throw Cyclone is so much more consistent now. Yeah. Elliot finally caught on to like the weight of the depletion days. Like, yeah, okay, and, and I wanted I wanted Rosal away from because now now we're seeing him go for the floats, right? Yeah. He respected Elliot in a certain situation where he was just waiting for him going for the floats, not really going down to the stage here. We're seeing more floats from Rosal because he knows, hey, I was really lacking in that last time. Much more floats here to avoid the grabs here, but Elegant comes in strong with the forward air. Big combo there. 47% tying this game almost directly back to even, but Rouse was saying, nah, not this time. All right. Throwing off stage again, the all training position for Elegant. And now Rouse is just walling him up with these back airs, dude. The float cancels are so good. Back airs and tennis. Elegant saying, no, thank you. Carter back. Kind of throwing Rouse off his pace. Yeah. Spacing coming out from Rouse and Elegant getting ever so closer to game, possibly getting a game five. Ooh. That was he so close. So this he, he, oh, this, could, this he could be it. He doesn't have his air dodge anymore. He so doesn't. He's, he's really he's in a bad spot now. <laughs> I like how I just went for that tilt, dude. He's like, come on, just, just get away from my he's stage. Like, come on. I know you want to side me. Come here, let me just up tilt you. Yeah. So this is really bad because now he's one fair yeah. or back one air. We'll if Elegant gets the grab here, oh, oh but that space, yeah, forward air, there. and Razo yeah. moving on to winner's side grand finals. You can see it in his breath, man. Like, he was, like, he was, inching. He was. He is happy that he's still there because Elegant was.